Starting up a renowned company, manufacturing some of the most spectacular and gigantic heavy-duty machines in history, registering over 300 patents related to improvements for earth-moving tools, and founding a university are achievements that are significant on their own. However, achieving all of these as a single individual is remarkable. And that man's name is Robert Gilmore Letourneau. The Letourneau surname legacy began when Robert at the age of 14 started traveling around the country, performing various jobs in multiple industries such as foundry work, acquiring knowledge to operate as a machinist, as well as learning welding and electrical maintenance tasks. His own vocational training was further reinforced by numerous courses from international correspondence schools over the years, eventually graduating in automotive and motorcycle mechanics. During World War I, Robert worked as a maintenance assistant in a naval shipyard in California, where he honed his skills as an electrical machinist and welding. After the war, Letourneau worked as a crawler tractor repairman, which further sparked his interest in earth-moving jobs and led him to establish his own earth-moving business in Stockton, California in May 1921. However, thanks to Robert's passion and interest in engineering, by 1933 he had transformed the company into a manufacturer of heavy equipment, naming the company R.G. Letourneau Inc., specializing entirely in the design and development of high-quality earth-moving equipment. As his first workshop became increasingly cramped, Letourneau decided to move to Illinois to build his first plant in 1935, followed by the construction of more plants in the United States, in Georgia, Mississippi, and Texas, as well as in Australia. The quality of their products was so consistently high that Letourneau factories ended up supplying 70% of all earth-moving equipment used by the Allied forces during World War II. These included various machines such as scrappers, bulldozers, and wheel loaders, which served as the foundation for the design of the company's subsequent historic creations. One of the most iconic aspects of this brand is the innovative propulsion system, which was improved over decades. It's a kind of drivetrain based on a diesel-electric mechanism for heavy machines with multiple wheels, very similar to what was used by locomotives back then. Essentially, it used a combustion engine to rotate an electric generator, which in turn powered the motors integrated into each wheel of the vehicle. This allowed for multiple traction without the need for differentials or transmission shafts, also eliminating the energy losses associated with them. To grasp the magnitude of their great machines, it's necessary to review the qualities of some of the most iconic models. To begin, the aforementioned Tree Stomper, like almost all creations of this brand, was labeled as the largest in the world. Its operation wasn't the only spectacular thing about this machine, but also its qualities boasting a brutal weight of 120 tons, combined with the power of a 475 horsepower Detroit engine that drove its legendary diesel-electric drivetrain. The ingenuity of their inventions also proved to be timeless, as one of their greatest creations has been the L2350 wheel loader, which has managed to hold the same title of being unbeatable in terms of its dimensions and capabilities for several years. This is achieved with its impressive operating weight of over 250 tons, which translates to a payload of 65 tons, equivalent to a little more than 10 African elephants, or 40 cubic meters with its standard bucket. Furthermore, regarding its drivetrain, this unit can be equipped with a 16-cylinder, 65-liter Detroit diesel engine or a 16-cylinder, 60-liter Cummings engine, both with a monumental power of 2,300 horsepower, which are fueled by an almost 4,000-liter fuel tank. Meanwhile, tires with a diameter of 4 meters and a width of 1.8 meters support this colossal engineering marvel. Something like two adult men standing and one more in width. If you've reached this point in the video and enjoyed it, we would greatly appreciate it if you consider subscribing to the channel. 
Despite each of its inventions typically setting high expectations for what could be manufactured, this company, in the mid-20th century, embarked on the development of a project aimed at creating a vehicle capable of transporting hundreds of tons in unfavorable environments, such as the hot deserts of Arizona. The concept under which it was created was basically like a train that didn't need rails. Something that, although sounds contradictory, had enormous potential for use in large-scale construction projects or even for military purposes. Once materialized, the so-called land trains managed to meet all the imposed objectives, reaching lengths of up to 175 meters and being capable of carrying up to 150 tons of cargo. Featuring the well-known diesel electric propulsion system and integrating multiple motors, all the models produced had an imposing appearance due to the great qualities they possessed. Although the project was ultimately dismissed as an unnecessary experiment expense, the existence of the prototypes alone is a testament to what the ingenuity of Robert Letourneau was capable of designing. Another of the great contributions that Robert Letourneau managed to materialize was the establishment of a university in the city, where the last plant he managed to open with his company was located. With a firm belief that practical instruction combined with classroom study was the best way to learn, in 1946, he purchased a disused military hospital in Longview, Texas, and established the Letourneau Technical Institute, which offered technical and mechanical training. Years later, the institute managed to obtain university accreditation, transforming into Letourneau University. With this, since 1970, the institution has been allowed to offer degrees in engineering, aeronautical sciences, and humanities, attracting over 3,000 active students, both on campus and online. Unfortunately, the legendary company Letourneau gradually began to fade after the death of its founder in 1970. From that point on, the brand passed through different hands, which while enhancing the logistical and production capabilities of the brand, decreased its active participation in the global market. Since 2011, the company has been part of and a key component of the mining division of the multinational Komatsu continuing its research and development work at its headquarters in Texas, while also keeping alive the legacy of one of the most prominent inventors to have ever existed. Tell us, were you familiar with the history of Letourneau? Would you like to learn about one of its magnificent machines? We'll be reading your comments. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it and want more similar content, please subscribe to our channel. We also invite you to visit our secondary channel, Gear Unlimited, where you'll find a wide variety of topics. We appreciate your support and interest. Keep on trucking and stay tuned for more.